Hi, welcome back for my second video about uh, preparing my 1941 Plymouth for the summer national meet that the Plymouth Club is holding in Monterey, California. Uh, as I told you last time, I've been working on the car for about 10 years, and uh, the meet now is 123 days away, and I want to be ready about a month in advance, so that means I just have about three months uh, left to get ready. So where I want to start today is with a little bit of a walk around the car uh, so you can see what I've done so far and uh, see what I have to do between now and uh, the meet to be ready completely. Now this past week I've actually spent most of my time getting organized again. Uh, I haven't worked on the car in about a year and I needed to find everything. Now nothing was lost. I put everything in baggies and put them in boxes but the boxes had been moved and I wasn't sure what was in which box so I had to kind of go through everything and uh, get myself uh, oriented again. I also uh, sorted out the things that need to be zinc plated uh, so that they can be taken up and worked on and also there's a few of the interior pieces that still need to be painted and so I set those aside so I could take them to the painter. Uh, other than that I just did some minor things as I found them, put some rubber grommets in, put the, the uh, cowl webbing in, uh, just a few things uh, to get them out of the way so I wouldn't have to keep moving them that uh, were ready to be done. Hopefully next week uh, there will be a lot more progress to actually show you. Okay, so besides showing you what I'm working on right now, I want to show you some of the things that I've already finished and set aside, uh, ready to install on the car. And one of those was the running boards. The running boards on a 41 Plymouth are a rubber which is vulcanized to a steel frame. And the rubber was pretty rotted and uh, chipping off. So what I did was took a, an air chisel and uh, was able to knock off the rest of the rubber. I uh, then sandblasted and straightened any of the dents and things that were in the metal frames and sent these uh, running boards off to uh, Hundley Acuff in Georgia and he uh, had the molds and so forth to revulcanize the rubber. So what you end up with here is a uh, new running board, original running board, but with new rubber on it that looks just like it did originally. So it was uh, quite an involved process, obviously took a couple of months by the time everything was done, maybe even longer. Uh, but I'm really happy with the results. Uh, also there is a uh, stainless steel molding that goes on the edge and I was able to locate two NOS stainless steel moldings in the clips uh, so I'll be able to replace that because it was missing. Now my project for this week was to uh, work on the window glass. Now there's three different kinds of glass used on a 41 Plymouth. Uh, the, the trade name is Duplate for the windshield, Duolite for the door windows, and Herculite tempered glass for the wind vents and the uh, rear window. And what I wanted to do was to recreate this little name they put uh, in here with an acid etch. But since I didn't have a way of doing that, uh, I found that I could have it laser engraved on there at the trophy shop. And so what I did was I created the little logos and then uh, I took them down as a computer file and gave them to the uh, fellow at the trophy shop. Hi! How you doing? And he uh, was able to engrave them right onto the glass and the picture will show you the result. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. So that's it for this week. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified automatically when I post a new video. I will be doing that regularly. And until then, be looking forward to meeting you on the road.